You don't want me to speak orca. <laughs> it's very high pitched. <laughs> there you do it. She's a great imitation. <laughs> that would be uh, J Pod. If they're hunting, they're just little clicks. Well, they can sound like a kitten mewing, you know. <laughs> there are many orcaholics now in this community. In the beautiful southern Gulf Islands, welcome to my home. With this deep water out here with a lot of current, there's a lot of fish and so the orcas tended to hang around out here a lot. So this little island is actually very well educated about orcas. Because we live on an island, it's so, uh, our marine environment is so much a part of our lives and the orca situation is be becoming quite public now and the people are really showing their concern and interest in uh, the survival of these wonderful creatures. Simras is the Saturna Island Marine Research and Education Society. What we're doing is educating the public about our marine environment here in the Salish Sea and trying to monitor how things are going in our part of the ocean world. At the core of the Simras organization are community residents. Set up by a small group of really, really passionate islanders and as a non-islander myself, I was just so charmed by their enthusiasm um, to do this. I couldn't help but get involved. My name is Richard Blagborn, and I've lived here on Saturna for 30 years or so. I'm David Osborne. I live here on Cliffside on Saturna Island, and I have the honor to have in my basement all the computers and other kinds of complicated equipment that Simris has for monitoring its hydrophones out here in Boundary Pass. I love the idea of citizen science and being able to participate in uh, research about animals that I love. I'm Larry Peck and I'm one of the directors of the Saturna Island Marine Research and Education Society. My name is Charles Reef and uh, I've been the secretary of SIMRES since it was formed. I'm Lauren McQuinney and I'm kind of the scientist in residence here um, on Saturna Island with SIMRES. There are only 74 southern resident orca left now and we're really worried about that population. It's, it's uh, on the edge of extinction and our community is doing its absolute best to support these whales in whatever way they can and our organization is getting the word out there to help people understand what they can do to make it easier for these orca to survive. You know, we can all do our bit. Obviously, you don't have to be a marine biologist to be involved in these animals. We can reduce our household waste, we can shop locally, we can reduce our impact on the marine environment in that way. Um, if you're going to go out in the water, go out with a reputable whale watching company, let's reduce the amount of vessels on the water. And also support local um, charities. You know, there's a massive amount of citizen science programs that are kind of being rolled out. And if everybody thinks that they can, make a change, they, they will. We need a movement at the moment to save them.